Hey guys, Gokusum for the win here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, we'll be going to the Fighting Dojo in Saffron City. Now, before we do that, I actually have to go back to Celadon City to pick up something, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I am back in Celadon City, and you have to actually go into this building right here. I don't know if you guys have done it on your own or not, but I definitely haven't shown it off in the episode yet, or in any of the episodes yet. So you have to come over to this lady right here, and she will give you a key item, which is tea. Now, this tea will allow you to go to Saffron City, since there is a guard right now that is blocking it because he is thirsty. Same with any other route you try to go into from Celadon City. You won't be able to do it because the routes are all blocked. So anyways... Let's go ahead and give this man the tea over here. Again, he will hand it over to every other guard, so don't worry about going to each guard, handing them over tea. Um, that would be very repetitive and annoying. But we have entered Saffron City. Now, Saffron City is the biggest city in this game, so uh, it is pretty nice. I love how they have big cities, and I think they do in every game, but Saffron City is one of those... I don't know, I just like the way the city looks. But anyways, as you can see already, there is Team Rocket everywhere in here, so we can't do majority of things, but we are here for one thing today, and that is the Fighting Dojo. So the Fighting Dojo is a place where you fight a barrage of trainers that come at you with a bunch of fighting types, and you get a little reward at the ending, and that reward I really want because it's going to be our final Pokemon that they give us. So anyways, let's go ahead and fight these trainers right here. I don't know exactly. Yeah, I think they take turns. So the first trainer you come up against in this fighting dojo is going to be a Machop and a Machoke. Now the Machop's going to be level 31 and I'm pretty sure the Machoke's level 31 too, but I have no idea. Maybe this is a different trainer actually. I think this might be the one with the Mankey and Primate, but I'll see right here. Once I actually get the Pokemon back up on the screen. Uh, Robin is going to get a little bit of EXP here. Okay, so this is the train with the Mankey and Primate. So they're all going to be level 31. Uh, Mankey, not really the best Pokemon in the world. Once he evolves into Primate, this Pokemon becomes a beast as a fighting type. It's a pretty good Pokemon. If you want to run it on, on your team, I'd recommend doing it. But there are better fighting types that you can get in this game. And you have to get as a reward from this fighting dojo. So Primate is going to come out. Now, if you do have troubles in this first uh, fighting dojo here, um, usually if you go straight into it after you get the T from Celadon, before you even fight the gym leader in Celadon, uh, you'll usually have some troubles with this. But if you have a flying type, um, it shouldn't trouble you too much. So I recommend even bringing your Fero if you have one, or if you got a Pidgeotto or a Pidgeot, that would definitely be a great choice as well. So Robin's going to go ahead and get some more XP here, and he gives up. Yeah, I know, you lost all your Pokemon. You didn't need to tell me that. So, coming into the second battle right here, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the guy with the Machoke. I have no idea though, we'll see. Okay, yeah, this is probably the guy with Machoke and Machop. They're go both going to be level 32, so um, not too too hard in at all. Um, Machop, pretty easy Pokemon to take out with Peck. Oh my god, he actually tanked that one. I'm surprised about that. It is super effective, and on top of that, I think we're, uh, we're four, four levels, I think we're, f no, five levels. Five levels higher than this Pokemon right here. Um, but Machoke right here, obviously he's going to be able to live a pet because that Machop did. And Machoke and Machamp, definitely, definitely great Pokemon to run on your team. Um, these are one of the better fighting types you can get other than Primate. I prefer getting either myself, either a Machoke or Machop, or a Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. These are, those are usually my go-to fighting types. If I want to mix it up, I'll bring in Primate, but he is definitely outclassed by these fighting types. That you can get in these games so anyways we're going to take out that next trainer right here and i don't know what this trainer has it's either going to be i'll see once i see the pokemon but anyways um this is pretty much it you fight four trainers in general and then uh you get the final boss battle with the guy and at the top and he will give you the reward so this is going to be a primate his only pokemon level 36 this is definitely one of those pokemons that you can have troubles with because it won't get one shot and if you have something like a, I don't know if Pharaoh, I think Pharaoh is a normal type as well, but if you get hit by an attack, it's still going to do a lot of damage because it is neutral damage. If you get hit by a fighting attack or something, or if they have Rock Slide, I don't know if these things are Rock Slide or not, but he went for Focus Energy, so uh, not too much trouble there. Robin definitely sweeping through these um, fighting types, um, but we're going to fight this next trainer right here. He's going to have a... Mankey, another Mankey, and a Primeape. I don't know what these trainers are, 
with their uh, Mankeys and Primeapes. I guess you don't really have much choices in Gen 1. Um, I don't know if there's any Gen 3 Pokemon in this game. I think they there is later, later on, but that's not until after uh, when you're about to beat the or fight the Elite Four. Um, but since it is Gen 1, you, again, you don't have that much choices. I think there's like four fighting types in general. That's Machamp, Primeape, and then Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan. So they are pretty good Pokemon, but again, Mankey and Primeape, I, I think this would be a little bit harder if they had Machokes and Machamps on their teams. Uh, mostly Machamp. Machamp is such a beast Pokemon. Super bulky in its special defense. It has high attack. Um, it can live a lot of special attacks. I don't know about its defense though. It's not the greatest in the world, but if you run like a Salt Vest or something, definitely a beast Pokemon in its own uh, tier. So we're going to take out this Primate right here, level 31, and Robin's up to level 38 now. Pretty good. We shouldn't have too much troubles with this final trainer right here, but since I want to mix it up, I want to make it a little harder, we're going to bring out our Roche, actually. You know what, SSJ Coco definitely needs some levels, I'm pretty sure. We won't take them out in one shot, but we could definitely still do some damage with our Thunder, or Shockwave, not Thunderbolt. Um, I wish we had, I wish we had a uh, Thunderbolt, just because it is a better move than Shockwave, of course. But Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan are going to be the final two Pokemon in this battle. They're both level 37, so definitely, if you uh, want to stock up, stock up on some potions or something, or again, have a few flying types on your team, that won't hurt either. Um, I'm pretty sure you'll only need one, but it doesn't really matter. So he's going to use Mind Reader right here, took an aim at SSJ Coco. I don't know what that move actually does, because I don't see it too often. I think it's something like um, Mean Look, or not Mean Look, but uh, it like lowers the accuracy, or hires the accuracy of a specific Pokemon's move. So we're going to go down with a high jump kick there. It looks like our plan with SSJ Coco didn't go as planned, of course. Uh, we did die, so I'm going to bring back out Robin here. Take this peck out on this um, him only and take him out with that peck as well. So Robin's going to get some decent ESP from that and Hitmonchan is the final Pokemon. Now, as you could already tell, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan are two different Pokemon. Hitmonlee specializes in kicking moves, and Hitmonchan specializes in punching moves, so like Bullet Punch, Ice Punch, as you see right there. Um, now, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, definitely both really good Pokemon. Personally and competitive, I prefer Hitmonchan, but Hitmonlee's always been my favorite Pokemon. Um, but you guys will see which one I choose here. Uh, either it's my favorite Pokemon or my favorite competitive Mon. So, now we get to choose. So, on the left here, we're going to have Hitmonlee, and on the right, we're going to have Hitmonchan. So, in the comment section down below, right now, go ahead and say what you think I was going to choose. And you guys will see if you're right or wrong. Anyways, I am going to choose... Hitmonchan. Yes, I know it's kind of weird. Uh, Hitmonlee usually I choose. If you guys, is, if any of my viewers know me, I love Hitmonlee over Hitmonchan. But since um, I want to mix it up, I want to choose Hitmonchan because I don't really usually use him in uh, playthroughs. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and name this guy Jackie Chan. I know such a corny name. Um, these guys are actually named after Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, which is pretty cool. And we can't fit Jackie Chan. Uh, with the space, so we're gonna have to get rid of that there. And where's the C here? I'm having some trouble spelling on this keyboard because it is a little bit wacky. So Jackie Chan, the Hitmon Chan, that is gonna be our final Pokemon for this uh, walkthrough. Actually, I'm not gonna add any more to my team. We already got six. So let me go ahead and get this Hitmon Chan in my party. Let me go ahead and show you guys Hitmon Chan's move set right here. Now, Hitmonchan doesn't exactly have the best moves at first. Um, I'm pretty sure he only yeah he has Comic Punch, Mock Punch, which is can which can be very very useful if you want a priority move, and Pursuit, definitely a good move if you think the Pokemon's gonna get switched out or something. But usually that doesn't happen with the AI in this game. And then Agility, which raises your speed. I'm pretty sure Hitmon Lee only gets. Uh, rolling kick and one other move. He doesn't get four moves. I could be mistaken though, but Hitmonchan definitely a good choice. As you can see, his special defense super high, has decent attack, and his speed is pretty good as well. Special attack definitely is not the greatest in the world, and the defense is kind of suffering. But we are not going to be switching into physical flying types or anything with Hitmonchan. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to end off the episode here. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and tell me what you liked and also what you didn't like in the comment section down below, because then I can improve my videos and make them more entertaining for you guys. In the next episode, we'll be taking on Team Rocket 
once again, I think this is going to be the final time in Silsco. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.